Okay, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to take an image that isn't too bad. Um, it's an image I took using the Lens Baby on my Olympus OMD EM1 Mark II. And I'm going to turn this into a double exposure, painterly, painterly like effect. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, drag this down and create a second layer. Hit Control T, and we're going to twist this. I'm going to add a mask, hit the B key. Make sure that I'm at 100% opacity. Take out some of this hard. Oh, this is that white. I need to make sure I said black. It will take that out. And as you're going through here, you'll notice that we're. And as you as you take the hard edges off, blit, bring in what you want. Um, the intent that I want is going to focus on this middle flower. So we want this right here. And we're going to bring this guy in here. So we're going to take it. I'm going to make another layer with this one. Hit Control T. Hit Control T. We're going to twist this. Enter. Hit another mask. Hit B. And just blend in what how you want the edges to look like. Um, my intent is to have a very soft out side edge that would be the vignette um, of this so you'll see that rather than having either dark or light you could have the colors and like a flowerly flowerly like look and we're going to bring in one more layer we'll do this one more time and we're going to drop this guy way down the mask and we're going back here because again my focus is on this set right here and Let's just look, say you don't like the way that was looking. You can start to bring in anything that you want. Again, this is your image. So this isn't bad. Um, I'm going to now flatten this. And I always make an extra layer when I go in and use a filter. So I'm, this time I'm going to use a filter, Topaz Labs. I'm going to use Clarity. I just want to just sharpen up that middle flower slightly. And I'm going to select this one. So when you click on Use Topaz, um, if you click click on it, it'll show you the previous. Now this is what you have. Now this is way too much out here, and so I will show you what I do. Yes, you could go in and use mask and change opacity within uh, Topaz itself. Um, I am going to take it back into Photoshop. I'm just a little more comfortable with that. I'm going to add a mask and so you could do one of two things okay so you could take this double click this take the original layer bring it over throw a mask on click on that and then again this middle set here is what i want and then the rest is nice and blurred out okay so that's that's not bad it's pretty much what i would like it to be i'm going to flatten this again drop this down make another layer because now I'm going to take it into Topaz and I want Impression. So this is what it automatically did. There are many, many different options that you can have on this. So let's just say, for example, uh, you, this is one of my the favorites that I have set up in there. You could go in and select that. Um, And so if it's too much or if it's even close to what you want, so in this case I'm going to just hit Control Z because it is slightly more than what I wanted it to be. And I'm going to take this back into Photoshop. Okay, now I brought it back into Photoshop, but it is too more than what I want. Okay, so I'm going to change the opacity slightly because I, I want it to be a painterly light, but I don't want it to look like a painting. And so I brought this down, and again, my intent is this middle flower. So I'm going to add a mask here, 
but I don't need it to be at 100. We'll take it at 60. We'll see what we have and just start to play with it. And so, so easily within a few minutes, we were able to take the image that we started with, which was okay, and create a na nice painterly effect. You can go in and flatten this and start to blend this around, whatever you would like to do here. Um, I like to leave some uh, open space. You could add text to it if you're making a card, if you're using for digital media, whatever you might be doing. Uh, but you have a nice soft vignette. So let's just uh, flatten this one last time. And uh, say you don't like these edges here, you could just hit your J. We're going to clean this. You know, you could you could do whatever you like with it. It is your image. This is art. We're not trying to uh, sell this as a uh, as a perfect stock image. Um, this is art. So we've cleaned this up a little bit. Uh, if I want to get rid of this dark, which uh, which I definitely would, uh, I'm going to clone this over. I'm going to take this piece here. We're going to clone this play around a little bit. Again, spend the time that you want on here. Um, if you know, maybe I would take this here, clone this up, and we got a nice effect out of here. Um, we have room for text. Maybe take something to put in there. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this. It's a quick uh, a tip on how to make a double exposure-like image, turning into a painterly effect um, from an image that isn't bad, but it wasn't great. It was nothing um, that I would really want to post or use for one of my cards. And so I hope you enjoyed this. Stop back for more tips and tricks. Subscribe below. Appreciate it. Thanks. Bye now.